smart farming techniques these made agriculture a reality in urban settlements there are a lot of smart farming techniques we know that hydroponics aquaponics you know aeroponics vertical farming etc and etc here we are going to discuss about aeroponics what is aeroponics when was this first coined when was this invented by whom dutch biologist fritz walmont in 1957 he invented this but after 29 years you know to bring into reality this took 29 years and this was first used in the national grocery chain of richard stoner what is aeroponics what does this mean where does this come from you know whenever we don't understand a word we say that this is greek and latin to me and yeah in this case it is greek in greek air means air of course ponos means labor that is the air is going to do the job here in the absence of water and in the absence of soil okay why is this crucial now soil problems you know there are three important soil problems you know three crucial soil problems soil compaction top soil removal and soil erosion you know what is top soil right the 4 to 8 inches of the soil when this is removed especially in urban areas this is very you know common in urban areas because construction happens you know urbanization happens industrialization happens transportation happens definitely the top soil removes and when the top soil is exposed more it is prone to soil erosion especially during rains so soil erosion soil degradation is a threat to the world so this is the time you know when there is too much dependence on the soil then the agricultural yield will get affected obviously you know in 2019 forbes released a report in that report it stated that due to soil erosion the global agricultural market suffered a loss of 8 billion dollars why did this happen this is because of 100% dependency on soil for cultivation so should we you know replace the conventional farming methods should we not use soil for cultivation not at all aeroponics can be a complementary factor you know to cope with the losses caused by soil degradation aeroponics is it just restricted to you know bringing rural lifestyle rural livelihood into urban settlement or you know uh, coping up with the soil degradation losses no space research you know if nasa or any space research organization have to do more human space missions aeroponics can be a boon no this is not just a thought or this is not just out of my uh, my mind or this is not a myth nasa funded richard stoner who was richard stoner as we said earlier he was the one who brought aeroponical aeroponically cultivated crops into reality you know uh, into production into circulation through his uh, grocery chain so nasa funded his experiment in 1997 and if human space missions have to be more and this can pay way for moon human space missions because the food production and food availability are more why is this relevant now what do we need for agriculture fertile soil sunlight good supply of water well can we say you know if we have all these three can we assure of high yield you know the regions that have fertile soil you know good sunlight good water supply can you point out and say that the regions the farmers from these region can produce high yield okay let us take high yield out of the picture can you assure and say that they are at least meeting their minimum requirement well that's a big question whereas in aeroponics the nutrient rich mist is sprayed directly to the roots of the plant making sure of the high yield here the high yield is a certainty aeroponics uses you know 95 percentage of less water when compared to conventional farming so is aeroponics the future of agriculture is the world going to you know depend on aeroponics space research is going to rise that is a surety will aeroponics be a part of it will aeroponics play a major role is this the right time to get into aeroponics well have thrown my thoughts it's up to you to decide